incredible morning hello 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 incredible morning everyone how are you guys doing it's time to test your silhouette knowledge and see if you guys can figure out how to recreate something in silhouette studio all right so we're going um of course i am live so we have to give it a little minute for the notifications to go out and you guys get on. While I wait for you guys to come on, I am going to share this out while I'm waiting for you guys. Whoa! Don't know why that was playing. All right, let's find this video so we can share it out. Boom, there we go. All right, and why did it get me like this? Oh my gosh, I swear. Facebook and YouTube always catches me in the weirdest positions for my thumbnails. All righty, select all, copy, post, and here, and paste, and one, two, three, four, Okay, there we go. I'll share it out. All right, so let's get into this. All right, hello everyone. I am Shakia, the professor of HS Inc. 365 LLC. We are the parent company of Silaholics Anonymous. It is the platform that I have been teaching you guys Silhouette so Studio for the past seven years. Um, we are also the home of, oh, I took it down. Haha, <laughs> it's not there anymore. But the Honestly Speaking brand, um, we currently have Submation Ink, Submation Paper, Pigment Ink, and accessories to go with it, as well as heat tape that is non-staining, non-marking. And there is a lot more in store for the product line. It is going to grow significantly this year. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure that you guys are checking in um, your uh, uh have your emails to where they're not going to your spam. That way, when any, anytime anything like new drops, you guys know about it, check the website, you know, or just come hang out on my lives because I'm always here live sharing information with you guys. We also um, own 365 Creative Academy, which is where I teach you to unlock your creativity in a wide variety of ways. So whether it's through like learning to design the Silhouette Studio, we have some sublimation classes, we have some things for event decor. We're going to... um uh, can't wait to kick off like the business classes and things like that. So a lot is planned for uh, 365 Creative Academy. You know, as um, the audience grows, like what we offer is just growing and growing and growing. It's all thanks to you guys. So I thank you guys so very much for your continued support um, of our company. So we're going to do a little test of your silhouette knowledge. If you guys don't know, um, I did drop some challenges for the summer. I have been hinting and talking about our SVG course and some other programs that's coming up, but um, with some things that happened within our personal life um, and, you know, just trying to get back in the swing of things, so I had to take a whole month off. I decided to um, kind of push back the full programs because they're going to come with a lot like it's, um, 
I'm kind of moving from doing a lot of the beginner stuff. I give you guys seven years of content. I'm not leaving beginners out. We will have like occasional classes and things like that for our beginners. And I will have, I'll have certain programs like my essentials that's for beginners. Um, but so I will have other programs and things like that available, but I am starting to focus a lot more on those who have been with me for a while and they're just ready to go to the next level. So I am curating a, a lot of courses and a lot of things that are um, a little bit more on the intermediate to advanced level. Um, so with the way that the new structure is going to be set up, I decided to just wait until our new fiscal year. Our new fiscal year starts in October. So a lot of those programs will roll out in the fall. So in the meantime, what I did was I created challenges. So for the summer, I'm going to be doing different challenges every single week. Every single week, there's going to be a different challenge. Uh, this, the first one up, it's not this week. It starts the 16th through the 23rd. Uh, we're doing SVG creation, or I keep saying SVG because that's the term that you guys know, but just vector creation, like creating things, um, whether it's from scratch or recreating something, taking a file that you have and being able to modify it and things like that. So that's uh, what vector is. It's just creating paths. I want to break down the differences in it and how is it beneficial and which ways is it beneficial and how do you use them? How do you customize them? We're going to go over all that in like the first two days. And then we're going to get into understanding how to create different files. Uh, we also have the event decor and party favor. So it's a it's kind of a beginner level um, on that one because we're going to do with, you know deal with like the things that people first get into like banners and chip bags and juice box labels and things like that. So definitely check that out on the website. Um, the website is shop.hsinc365.com. You're just going to click where it says Academy Classes and Playbacks and you're going to see that right there at the top. Um, they are on um, early bird special right now. So they're $35.63. If you are already on our email list, you have you got an email that had a discount code on there. Uh, be sure to look through your emails. You guys got to make sure that we're not going to your spam. Make sure that you're actually checking the emails. I don't send out a lot of like emails every single day and things like that, you know, just, you know, bombarding your inbox when I send out, it's always going to be something good. So make sure that, you know, you are checking your emails. So if you're on the email, email list, whether you clicked on the one for the SVG course registration, or you clicked on it for class updates, which is like right here at the bottom, you got an email. Another email will go out once the next set of challenges. And hey, you can take advantage of that um, discount as well. But every single week, there's going to be a new challenge. Well, well, yeah, every single week start from the 16th on, like there's always going to be some sort of challenge. Sometimes it'll be two in that week. Sometimes it'll be just one. But definitely go on there, check that out, read the description, get all the information for it. So we're going to do, we're going to talk, well, technically what we're going to talk about today once you create something as a vector file, you really can use that for anything. So we can like literally create something as a vector and then use it in um, our files for uh, chip bags or uh, candy wrappers or toppers or um, like vinyl cuts, cutouts, like print and cuts. You can make it and then still use it for something else. You're not limited in how you use it. SVGs are not just for vinyl or just for paper. You can sublimate, you know, from an SVG file because it's you just fill it with color. And remember, if you can print it, you can sub it. So this is a really good foundational place to start. Re well, really, it's essential to Silhouette Studio. But as far as like learning to create your own things and making them do what making them do what you want them to do, uh, this is where you know this starts as far as really getting into designing and editing, and then you'll be able to put it to use towards other things. Okay. All right. So let's go over here to Silhouette Studio. All right. Um, this one, which I actually meant to be zoomed into here, because then you guys are gonna kind of you're probably gonna figure it out from there. Um so we're going to look at this, right? This is a JPEG, JPEG image. 
you know, when I got it, liked it, and I was looking at it, I'm like, dang it, I needed it for something else, but the colors weren't what I needed it to be. So now we're going to test your silhouette knowledge. If you had this file, let's say you purchased this, right? Um, or maybe you just want to, you, you saw the inspiration, you want to be able to recreate it yourself. I have like with this one, these are all different colors. I can change this to any color combination that I want. So while the file was gray, it worked for at the time, you know, what it was, whatever I want to use it for. It's like, oh, dang it. I like that setup, but I don't like the colors. What would you guys do in order to have this and like make it to where it's your own? So if you have the time, let's go ahead. Um, and we, I'm going to have you guys type it out and um, let me know what would be like the first step. Oh my gosh, my head is itchy. <laughs> what would be the first step to, oh Lord Jesus, I'm so glad that was down there because baby, that my whole uh, headband <laughs> just pushed all the way back. Okay, hold on one second because my head is itchy. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to scratch my head. Oh Lord. Um, so we say, okay, convert it to a PNG by tracing. So we don't convert to a PNG by tracing. Um, a PNG is no different than a JPEG. The only difference is it would have a transparent background. I mean, technically this can be a PNG. So when you're tracing, you are creating a vector file, or as you guys like to call it, an SVG. SVG is Scalable Vector Graphic. There's actually several different file extensions that can be a vector file, but um, I'm going to kind of keep it to the lingo that you guys know, so I always say SVG. But when you trace something, you're not making it into a PNG. You're tracing it for it to be vectorized. So she says, trace, trace by color, Click on the pick and select object and release compound path. Well, when so, uh, you can only release compound path on something that is a vector file. This is a JPEG or it can be a PNG as well. So if we double click, I have one, I have four points on it. So if I right click, I have nothing to release because there are no paths here. It's just one big image. Okay, so we have someone else that says trace. Uh, play with the image effects tool. We could definitely do that. Now, I have a question for you though, when it comes to this. This one right here has these really light colors and it has one, two, three, four, five sections. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six sections. And this is a totally different color. So I want to actually be able to put my own colors. What you're saying is perfectly true. We technically can go over to image of FX, go over to colorize, and we can change this. But I have no control over how those colors change. I have no control whatsoever. Okay? But it's a good one that you do remember about the image effects. So we cannot release compound path on something that is an image. Okay, we cannot release compound path because it is an image. It's not, um, it's not vectorized. You can only release on a vector image, an SVG, um, a EPS file, an Illustrator file, a PDF file that was created in a vector program. Those are things where you can release and ungroup. But in this, because it's one, you cannot do it that way. So we are saying trace, trace, trace. All right. Let's let's even now, let's say we're not going to recreate this. Let's say, well, we're not going to mess with this one. If you wanted to create this from scratch, let's 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 word it that way. If you wanted to create this from scratch, what would you do? 
what would be the first uh, first step in this if you wanted to be able to create it from scratch? If you don't know and you are interested in learning how to create files like this, this is a file that um, at the time, because I was in a rush, I purchased it. I could have easily made it <laughs> um, had I like stopped and like just really made it. Um, I could have, but I saw it when I was on P. Well, I guess you can say I paid for it, but not paid for it. PNG tree. You can get so much from there and it was just a lot easier just to get it. But when I need it to be in a different color, I'm like, crap, now I still have to make it. It was great for the moment, but now I have to remake it anyway from scratch. Um, and you can do the same thing. Like you can create these um, images and create these files and be able to sell them. And it can be a side hustle for you if you don't want to make it your full time as far as like designing. So you can make that where you're getting passive income from. It can be, you know, it can get you a little mad money by selling digital files, especially when you can make them to where someone can go in, they can customize it, or you can go in and you can customize it to whatever color your client wants. Maybe you did a backdrop, a backdrop or you did a chip bag or you did um, some type of cutout, maybe you did a shirt and you had these colors. And someone says, man, I really, really love this, but my colors are this. But if you just purchase that image, you're not gonna really be able to change it and give your clients what they want. There's so much more freedom. There's so much more opportunities when you're able to create things yourself. All right, so make rectangles um, in uh, your choice in your uh, color choice, you would use a rectangle and circle tool. So with the circle tool, what, so what we're using the circle tool, we're using that for what the clouds, right? So create rectangles, uh, shapes and edit points. Okay. Edit points. Don't really need edit points for this one, but I like some of these other ones where we're going to make the rectangles in your, like the color of your choice. All right. So let's do that. Um, you guys are going to teach me how to do this. So we're going to make a rectangle. All right. And you said my, the color of my choice. I'm just going to pick a random color right now. All right. Now, what am I going to do when it comes to, I, there's a bunch of them. So what am I going to do next to get the number of rectangles that I need? And then for Gracie, when you said the circle tool, so we're gonna use that to make, I guess, like the clouds, but what do we do with it? So what will be the steps? I want you to focus on that one. So what are we using that circle tool for? So we're gonna duplicate this four times. All right, duplicate it four times, right? So duplicate, so one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. All right, so I just duplicated that four times, but look at how it is. What am I supposed to do? So we're gonna replicate. Okay, we can replicate, we can duplicate, copy and paste. Okay, we definitely can do that. So if I go copy and I go paste, but it's off to the side. So we said replicate, duplicate, duplicate, copy and paste. What do we what what am I missing? Why is it not lining up? So duplicate, what am I missing? What am I missing? Why is it not lining up for me? Hold down Alt and do what? So if I hold down Alt what am I, and I just click it, it just duplicates it on top. Center it. Okay, so I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna open up my transform panel because Michelle says that we need to center it. So we have this center where we can center all of them together. That's just gonna make it one box. Um, we can, al well, align center, but then that's just like that. So that's not working for me. So align and center, hmm. Control and the down arrow, hmm. So let's see, we're gonna hold down control and hit the down arrow. Girl, who taught you that? Who taught you how to do that, ma'am? How you know that's what I'm supposed to do? The tool that replicates straight down. All right, so we're gonna come here 
and we're going to go over to the replicate and she says a tool that goes straight down so we can also do this who taught y'all that I um uh, I didn't know that one. Okay. Um, she says move, and we can't. So technically, like I have all these here, you can definitely move these, right? But trying to get these to where you are manually moving them and you are manually aligning them can be a bit much. So there are tools within Silhouette Studio that I guarantee at least 83.65% of you guys have never touched. And you don't know how like, to make things go a lot faster. Like there are so many different things that you can do to where um, you just move a lot faster. All right, so we have ours here. We're gonna go ahead and just change these two different colors. I'm going to pick any random colors for now. Okay. This girl I know, ooh, she's really smart. Um, uh, I learned it in the academy. Okay. I would use the image effects to turn the clouds black, trace them, so I would have, so I wouldn't have to totally replicate, okay? Um, control down, yeah, so that's a keyboard shortcut. All right, so let's come back to you though. You told me to use some circles. What am I using those circles for? What am I using those circles for? All right, let's see. Still waiting on that answer. Anyone? So she told me to use circles. Um, okay, I was thinking place the circles how you want them and then merge. So we have to work on our terminology in Silhouette Studio, but I think the word that you're looking for is weld. And that would be absolutely correct. So you would, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna make a circle. So if you're wanting to create the clouds, you would be, you guys would actually be quite surprised in a lot of the things that you see and you like, and it's like, man, you know, I want to be able to make that myself. It's actually made up of simple shapes. What we did here did not require designer edition, business edition. This is all stuff that you can do in the free version. And the next step I'm about to do, um, which is what she said is correct, where you're going to um, make those circles, you'll arrange them how you want, and then you're going to, she said merge, but in Silhouette Studio, it's going to be weld. Why the fuck I feel like my audio is off? <laughs> but um, wait, let me see. Is it just because it's like that? I have no idea what happened, but now my audio is off, but it's okay. All right. So um, you'll, like I said, you'll find that a lot of things is just simple shapes and just knowing how to use the program. That's where Essential Cecilia Studio comes in at. If you don't know those little nuances, she said she didn't know about like the keyboard shortcuts to just be able to go. That makes you move faster. You can get more designs done, especially if you want to be someone that's gonna turn these into files that you can sell. The more that you can get done like within an hour's time frame. So if you're able to get, let's say three designs done um, and technically your hourly rate, let's say you wanted to make um, let's say $25 an hour. So you go and you spend an hour and you're able to create three different files, right? All you really want to make is $25 an hour. So if you sold all three of them, so one person for 25 bucks, you've made your money for that hour. Or you put them on a website. And even if you say like, let's say two, three bucks, $1, you make do a $1 sale for this file. Once you get 25 people to buy one, you've met your hourly rate. 
So imagine if you're able to create a bunch of files that you can put on the website, on a website, put on Etsy, someone buys it for a dollar, a dollar fifty, hell, 75 cents, 50 cents, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. And now they're buying these up and you can easily hit a hundred dollars for one file, two hundred dollars. And all you really wanted to make was twenty five dollars an hour. And you're creating files. So if you were able to create, because you now know things that will allow you to create things faster, let's say you're able to create two or three files in an hour. And each one of those sell for a dollar um, and you sell it to 25 people. You've made $75 off of an hour's worth of work where your rate um, for doing anything was only $25. This is a thing that, you know, you also have to learn when it comes to creating the SVGs and how to build a business, how to think about that and how you're going to make your money. When the actual SVG course drops, it's not, we're going to spend the first half of the course and of the program teaching you about designing. The second half is going to be about building a business. You know, even if you're just doing files, you should still have like, you know, you're going to go into business, still protect yourself and have your LLC and set up your website, figure out a way for people to order. We're going to go over all that. I'm going to be able to help you completely set up a business. And all you're going to do is just sell your files. All right. So um, let's go now. And we're going to get those circles. We're going to make a circle. So although she didn't say it, what I'm going to do is we're going to fill it in with white and we're going to need a couple different sizes, right? So we're going to go here and we're going to make this one just a tad bit smaller. I mean, we can even do one that might even be like a little bit smaller than that. So we're going to take this and put it here. Um, we might take this one all, put it up, put it down. We're going to put one here, put one there, put one there, move this one here there move this one let's kind of maybe put it there let's put this here and here there was no real like no real rhyme or reason to this so we have all of our circles i'm gonna duplicate them again so i can have those and then we're going to drag and select all of this take off the orange and then we're going to weld so once we have that all we have to do is crop this down. So we're going to take this one here and I'm going to duplicate it to the front, remove the color, hold down shift, click on my newly created clouds, and I'm going to crop. I should have asked you guys what to do, but I just went into it. But now we've created this in our own way. We didn't have to. We use this. So this is the difference. Here is the major difference between copying someone and being inspired. I like that. I needed the stripes. I wanted some type of cloud effect, but I didn't go and just trace their file. You're able to create your own version, your own orientation for the clouds, however many um, rows you want on it. So we're not copying. We use it as inspiration and you now know how to use the program and you create your own version. That is the difference between being inspired by something and using it to create something of your own and just straight up copying what somebody else basically has. All right, she says, <laughs> dang, knowledge. Um, you also need stars. You actually, you really, really do. So um, let's see. Could you use subtract also? Um, subtract on what part? Um, hi, Shakia. Just got home. Glad I caught you live. All right. So let's go back over here. Hey, just say. Um, so now we have that. And then here, I want it on the top, right? Because on this one, it's at the top. It, I can either create a whole nother set where those are completely unique as well for the top border. Or if I wanted to have the exact same one, what um, would I, what would I do? What would I do? Subtract on the clouds. No, you can't subtract. That that um, is not the proper function for it. And essentially, put that all down, and I show you what does subtract do versus cropping versus welding. So in this case, no, subtract would not work because it would have taken away like 
it would have cut away at the circles. Duplicate and flip vertically. All right, so we're going to duplicate. I'm, just going, I'm doing exactly what you said. So we're going to duplicate and we're going to flip vertically. All right. So now what do we do? Replicate to top. Replicate to top. What do you mean by replicate to top? Duplicate the welded clouds before cropping. We could definitely do that as well to make it where it's unique. Duplicate, flip vertically, and align to the top. So we're going to click here. And I'm going to align to the top. Now what? What's next? Because that's not where it's supposed to be at. Oh, you're driving. Oh! Uh, 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 oh, sorry, I mean to scream in your ear. If you don't stop typing while you're driving, I know something. You better put that phone on a tripod and just watch. Center it. Align to the left. Align, select both. Wait. Align left, select both, and crop. Why do we have to crop? We don't actually have to crop anymore because it is aligned to the top. So we do select here, and we can align to the left. And now it's in place. So that is one way of doing it. So align to the left of the stripes. But if I'm going and I want to, to really keep it moving and grooving, right? There is a replicate tool. So this little guy right here, and I can tell it to mirror above. And then all I have to do is select here and align it. So it is only one less step, how be ye ever. When again, we're going back to thinking, I want to be able to, to get this done. If my goal is to get it done in an hour, because my hourly rage is like, you know, I want to be able to create something where I can sell it and I can make $25 for whatever I create in this hour. So if I can create more things in this hour, I've increased my, um, my, my profit power, right? So we want to be able to do, even the smallest things can shave off time when you are designing. If you're on a crunch, the littlest things. So when you understand where these tools are and how they work and how to make them work to your benefit, you become a better designer. You become a better creator. You become um, a better customized. Like you can get things done a lot faster for your clients. You become the superhero to your clients, especially when they come to you with those last minute things. So someone said mirror above and then align to the top. Exactly. Oh, you were typing at lights. Align all the elements. Um, you got to watch the playback. You got to watch the playback. You want to see it again? Watch the playback. All right. Uh, it's around like the 32 mark, 32 minute mark. 30, go around like 32 minutes somewhere in there and you'll be able to see that again. All right. Um, but like I said, little things like that definitely, definitely helps. Also, be sure to uh, head over to the website. You can learn from this, but everything, everything, everything is laid out for you in Essentials of Silhouette Studio. All of these little nuances, all of these little things that's going to help you become a better creator, become a better designer. You are going to get that in this course. She says, let me get my notebook. Guess what I also have in here? I have a note guide where you can print that out and you can organize your notes and stuff like that because you can put at the top exactly what the lesson is. You can write on the side as far as like what minute mark it was on so you can go back. I have an amazing note guide included in the course. So you can create your own notebook and have it really be in order to where you can go to certain things. Essentials of Silhouette Studio is 
the ultimate like video reference guide to Silhouette Studio. It's going to, it's the foundation so that you can learn to create designs yourself. It's a foundation to where you're going to be able to follow along a lot easier with these two challenges and any challenges that's coming up. Because in these challenges, I'm not going over those basic like, okay, well, crop, and like breaking down, crop does this, subtract does this, intersect does this. This is why you would use crop. Like we're not going over like the basics of, of this. We're going over like how to design, understanding what makes great designs, understanding how to design faster and easier and make it so you're not so frustrated. All right. So definitely make sure you go to the website and you check out those. So let's go back over here. Now, if you, she says, that's why I'm taking your SVG challenge. I need more help with design. Now, here is a benefit to having designer edition, designer edition, um, plus or business edition, which you can also, we don't, we don't have it to where you can just buy it directly from our site. I wish we did. <clears throat> Silhouette America. I've emailed you guys a couple of times. How do I get on that list so I can sell it? But you can go to the website and go to where it says um, business edition, um, designer edition, designer, uh, di designer edition to business edition. It also gives you if you want designer plus, but I recommend designer or business. It's going to take you over to swing design. And once you're over here on the site, you can purchase it. It's $99. It's going to be the same amount, whether you get it from Silhouette America or Swing Design. But if you get it from Swing Design, you do support my platform. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by them, but I am an affiliate. So whenever you click on that link, um, there's a reference code that basically attaches to me and I will receive a small commission. So if you are not able to take a class, but you want something that's going to benefit you, no difference in cost to you, but it does help me as well. So click on the link if you want to upgrade to business edition or um, if you want to upgrade to like business edition or designer edition, because there are certain things. Now, what I'm about to show you, you have to have business or designer plus. Um, I don't believe they are in regular designer edition, but I can be wrong. Let's go here, view in designer edition and... No, see, you don't have the flexi shapes. So we're going to go back up to business edition. So there is a little tool for the stars. It's going to make it a little bit easier. And it's like the flexi shapes. So we're just going to come here to the star, add that in, kind of adjust. So I can make this star. I can make it as tight or as wide as I want it to be, right? And then I'm going to convert it to path. Now, let's say you don't have that doesn't mean that you have to get that. You probably have something in your library that has stars on it. Whether it was a free file from Silhouette, if it was in with something else, you most likely have a free file. This has a bunch of stars. It has a moon if I wanted to add that. But I'm going to, like I'm going to intentionally not use one of those and I'm going to pull it from something else. So let's say this cocktail umbrella. There are stars in there. I want that exact star. You have, you probably have so many things in your library. You have so many things in SVGs that you already have where you can pull elements out. You don't have to keep buying and buying and buying and buying files. You can disassemble them. So I'm going to show my age. You guys remember the movie Short Circuit? No, disassemble. Well, in this case, we want to disassemble. So I'm going to come over here, right? So this was, you know, that file, like, man, um, I don't want to have to, you know, go to someone else's file and maybe trace or whatever. I actually have something that has a star in it. So we're going to ungroup this and the star is right there. I'm going to hold down shift, click on that one star, delete everything else. I now have this star that I can utilize. And there is a way to create, if you want to like really, really create it yourself. I mean, you can definitely kind of create it from triangles. We're not going to get into that in this particular video, but you can create a star yourself. Like that's a really simple shape to create. So we're going, oh, I don't know if that's the one. Is that the one we've been working on? No, we are working on this one. All right. So I'm going to duplicate that and make it a little bit bigger. 
And then now you can just scatter. And there's a way, like keyboard shortcuts. Y'all sleep on these keyboard shortcuts. I tell y'all, I love keyboard shortcuts. But look at how fast I'm able to create that scatter because I'm using a keyboard shortcut. And now we're done. You love Short Circuit? That is my movie. <laughs> I have more than I will ever use. I think we all do. I buy files like for one time use and then I don't end up using them again, which is another reason why I wanted to like like certain things be able to create it because I'll pay like four or five bucks for a file, use it once when I really could have just created that myself if I had like, you know, just taking the time to actually create it myself. But we've gone and we're a we were able to make this. Of course, it's a shorter version. You can definitely make it, you know, a lot larger. I did it this size because of um, eight and a half. I was making it eight and a half by 11 for a chip bag. Um, that's actually what I was about to work on. I had to create this design for it. Um, and I needed the colors to be changed. But I'm, um, so that's why it is a little bit different in size from this one because this was longer and I needed it. And that's the other thing too. The file that you have might be too big. You can end up recreating it to make it fit the size that you actually need it to B, okay, without distorting it. Because I can take this and pull it in, but then I squish my stars, I squish my um, my clouds, and if I just put the box and crop it, I lose certain parts of it. Maybe I want a certain part, you know, a certain, like, area of the clouds. So when you are able to recreate it yourself, it just comes, like, you are in, you are in full control of the design. And then if I want to come in here and let's just say I'm going to now change this to all of these different colors, I'm able to do that. And then there is a quick little way. I don't even like this one. Let's just change. Um, we're just going to make that the same color as this. So just that's going to drive me crazy. Now, I don't have another version. Dang it. I don't know. But you get the idea. I'll, I could have figured out the colors and stuff later. But you're able to just change it around. And let's say if I okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna test your test you guys one more time, right? So this color is not working, right? I really only needed one, two, three, four colors. All I need are four colors. I don't need the fifth color. What would I do to get rid of another slot? Would you recreate it again? What would you do? Like, what is your first reaction? Like, dang it, I don't need this one. I need to get rid of it. But I need my template to be this exact size. Because, I mean, yeah, we could technically move it out of the way and then move this down. But now I've changed the size of my template. So what would you do if you now need only four slots instead of five? I mean, I can use it. We did that before. That's the first idea. We can use a dropper to change the colors. but that's just going to make this part longer, but I want them to be all even rectangles. So I want them to all be even. So if I just add it and change the color, I'm just extending that one or it has to be a different color. But I want this to be a totally different, like I don't even want that on there. What would we do? Copy everything first, resize the slots, then remove the unwanted slot, adjust your spacing, delete it, and grab the other elements and move them up. 
move them up, use the knife tool. She says, group it. I don't know. All right. So if, okay, so I'm not going to do too much like major change. So someone says to, to take this out and we're going to move it up. So if I just move it up, you, am I not left with gaps? Am I not left with gaps if I just move it up? Um, resize the slots, then move the unwanted color. So let's go, let's explore this one. So when we resize it, am I resizing them one by one? Am I resizing them one by one? Grab it and the other elements and move them up. Move them up where? Because you say grab that and the other elements. Or even if I move the star and I move them up, that, that's not working for me. Okay. She said, not really. So what do we do? You guys are teaching me. What's your silhouette knowledge? So what would we do? What would be the most effective way to stay within my template, but make sure that my rectangles are the same size? Go to the transform tool. Okay. So we're going to go to transform. What are we doing here? And while I'm waiting for you guys' answers, it's little things like this. We, you, even though you may know the program, right? It's knowing, like, you now know the tools. You guys are giving me some really great answers. You're giving me somewhat of the right answers. You're on the right track. But now, how do we, how do we, like, make these adjustments and make them quickie, quickie, <laughs> make them quicker? How do we do it without just testing out a bunch of theories, right? Because we know that we can do this, we can do this, we can do that. We know that this tool does this, this tool does that, right? So we know what the tools do. So we're gonna probably try out every single one of them. Okay, let me do this and this. No, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna undo. How do we avoid doing so many undos? We get under an instructor that's going to actually teach you about, about designing who's going to teach you the whys, not just the hows. I'm not going to just come on and say, okay, yep, I'm about to make this and we're just going to go here. It's going to be perfect. But when you have those hiccups, we need to make those changes. What is it that you do to make your life so much easier? All right. So grab all the elements, but the, and you want and Reese, Aquisha, girl, who classes you taking, girl? Aquisha, who, who academy you in, girl? Oh, whoever your teacher is, girl, she the bomb.com. She the bomb.com, girl. Delete, um, delete, click all rectangles, resize all to a new size, space vertically. So I'm gonna, ooh, that thing just made my ears pop. I felt like I was on an airplane. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make a duplicate here because I want you guys to see like some of the other answers. So, uh, find the size they are to be duplicated. Wait. Find the size they are to be duplicated size for duplicate three more times. No, we're not have to duplicate. Nope. Hard to explain. Take the bottom rectangle and duplicate it. Flip, replace it to the top. Nope. Delete the unwanted one. She says, okay, I'm signing up. <laughs> Remove the un unwanted, group the remaining, and resize them. So almost there. We don't want to remove the unwanted one. I'm going to show you why. But I want to show you something real quick. So someone said to respace it, right? So let's say I get rid of this one. We're going to take this here and I'm going to align it. And then now I'm going to space it. I now have a bunch of, oh, wait a minute. I got a bunch of gaps, but this is something that I'm going to reserve for the class. This just gave me a whole, like, I actually like the way that is, but then you have all these empty gaps. So there is a little trick that I intentionally left off on my other one. I have it, but ooh, we're going to leave that up here. I kind of like that. So I'm going to come back to that one. And I'm actually going to probably uh, do that as a bonus session. But what Aquisha, kind of what Ms. Johnson said, I mean, technically, because I have this border up here, I technically could remove this one. 
Um, but we can go with that one. And then we have, I think somebody else said it too. I don't remember who it was. So it's not knowing what the tools do, but knowing how to use them effectively. Exactly. All right. So we're going to take these four elements here and I'm going to simply pull them up and then pull it back down to where it's behind the cloud, click off. I'm gonna drag and select right here, hold down shift, click on this top layer. What that leaves me with, I'm gonna push it up, is that brown one, we're gonna delete it. So all we had to do was, we didn't have to group anything, we just had to select it, move it up, resize it. Now I have four sections instead of five, and it was a simple, like really like two clicks. So we just, um, this was the only one I'm going to redo. All the other ones I did not repeat, but I'm going to redo this one. So we're going to, I can even do it even faster. We're going to click those. We're going to bring this up right here to the top. Click, click, and delete. Boom. We just resized that. That's cute. If you had a colored background, you are exactly right. And I'm going to actually recreate that, but not on here. We're going to save that for class. Um, I was going to say that, uh, but didn't know how you would grab one behind to remove it. Ha ha. See, you didn't know that. That's where the professor comes in at. That's where the professor comes in at to teach you those little things on how to design. Because let's say if this, like in this case, I did not have, to, I, I mean, I could have deleted it because the clouds gave me that reference point. But if I did not have the clouds there, If, like let's say this was like this and I didn't have the clouds there and you just delete that or remove it, you're not going to have a reference point of where to move it to. So that's where coming in here and then resizing it and then deleting that. That's where that comes in at, okay? Um, is this a Tumblr template? It could be. It can be whatever you want. That is the joy in learning how to design. Even when it came to these, which my girl kills them. Y'all haven't checked out her page? Go check out her page. If you're in, like, if you're into the whole designer bag thingy, she's gonna make you even more addicted to it because she has some amazing, amazing things on her TikTok, on her page. So definitely go check out her content. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but like, if you wanted to create this and create borders and create different things to make your own version, of, like it doesn't have to be a designer handbag. You can literally take this and maybe have that as a nice, you know, uh, soft, um, like nighttime background, put like a little cute bear on it. So now you've created the foundation part. Now you can go and you can get um, like a little bear. You can get a koala. You can get, you know, something with stars and moons. You can put watercolors and you can create all of this and still put a chain on it. So just like the handbag um, tumblers doesn't have to be an actual like designer bag. It can be any design and you are putting that on there and you're making it. Was that you, Keita? It was someone I saw, they made um, some some uh, sorority ones. It was a, a Delta one and an AKA one, I think it was. And so they had like a design on it, but they had, so for the Deltas, they had, not the Deltas, the um, AKAs, I think it was, they had like pearls on it, one of them. And then one of them had like, just like the chain. So I saw someone do that. You can turn these into basically like a handbag type tumbler with any design. So this can be for a tumbler. This can be for a shirt. This can be for a keychain. That is the beauty in designing. There is no limit in what you can use it for because you can make it fit the size that you want it to be without having to squish it, um, kind of still have the same look and you're able to resize it proportionally. This, however, um, I originally started it and I decided to do like the video for it. I'm actually about to do a chip bag for a baby shower and I need it to change up the colors because that one had more of like it had pastel colors and I actually need them to be um, different variations of blue. So I was actually about to do that for a chip bag. So I was like, you know what, let's go live and talk about it. And then I thought about, if I'm not sure if you guys came on, I did the one with all like the different shades of brown. I'm going to end up put, I'm going to make, I'll probably make that one into a tumbler with all the different shades of brown. And I'm going to put like a nice little saying on it, uh, 
uh, Coco Twins has these like new images that I have been dying to use. So I'll probably use that background, put me a little Coco Twins image on top. She got these new images that are just absolutely amazing. And I'll use that probably for a tumble. I'll resize it because right now it's set just for eight and a half by 11, but that's not my tumbler size. So I'll probably just redo that. But once you are able to design, there's no limit. You can literally put it on anything. She says, no, that wasn't me, but it sounds cute though. Um, I had a Run DMC one um, in mind with the chain. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's see. Professor is the best. I'm missing how you are grabbing the back one with the other elements on top. Join my class. Join my join join the the challenge, the seven day challenge. We're gonna go over that. Um, hey, Dems, how you doing, Hans? Uh, can you show how to, wait, how to have a 20 ounce tumbler template and trying to uh, size it down for a pen design without losing so much of the image, please? You cannot. That is the thing. There are, that's the other thing that I teach too, that sometimes you're just not going to be able to, but if you're able to completely re, I mean, it's something that can be recreated, but if it is, um, made for a tumbler, there's no way that you're going to be able to keep that same setup and like that same outline without distorting it because that the, the proportions of the template for a pen is going to be a lot more narrow. So if you go in and you pull it in and you like you try to resize it to it, you're going to squish it or, you know, and stretch it. So you have to pull it in and then you're going to end up having to stretch it. If you want to keep it at the right so at the same size, you're just gonna have to pull your template over it and then crop it down. There is no way to keep all of the elements because those are two totally different types of templates. And that's the thing too that you guys have to understand when it comes to designing that you're not going to be able to force things to like it's not always gonna fit and conform to what you need it to be. And we have to understand that concept. Everything doesn't work for everything. I joined last night. We will go over that in the session between the 16th and the 23rd. All right. But some of you guys did really, really good. And hopefully for those of you who didn't know some of these little nuances, hopefully it helped you. Um, if you would like to learn more, if you want to be free in how you design, I can teach you about business. I can teach you how to make things. I can teach you how to do a chip bag. I can constantly teach you how to make a tumbler. But at some point, um, just using ready-made files is not going to work for you. As a creator, as a creative, you want to be creative. You want to put your creative juices. You want to be able to get what's in your head onto paper or in this case, onto the screen. Well, how do you do that? How do you use these programs? I don't care if it's Silhouette Studio, if it's Photoshop, if it's Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Corel Draw, Inkscape, Cricut Design Space, Flexi Design, Procreate, PixArt, um, Paint Shop Pro, um, any of those, um, any program. You still have to understand design concepts and layouts, composition. You have to not just know what the tools do. You have to know how to use them together. And if you're trying to make this business, you have to learn how to do, be more effective and be more efficient in how you design. And that is what my focus is on. I'll get you to the business side. Once you understand the main part of your business, like in this case, designing, and you get this, get a lock on this, understanding the business side is going to be a lot easier. The, the issue that I find with a lot of people is we see these things and you're trying to learn the craft part of it. You're trying to learn the creative part of it and also learn the business side. So you are dividing your thought process and it's sometimes hard because like, okay, yeah, I got this down, but I, I can't figure out how to market. I can't figure out how to get more customers. And then you then you go back and get frustrated with like the designing. You're, you're doing both. Sometimes you got to slow it down and maybe work on one part of your business um, and, and become more efficient so that you can now dedicate the time. You can now in the next phase of your business, you can focus on like those business classes. And that's like that's how my structure is going to be set up for the programs come the fall. 
I feel like so many people don't put enough emphasis on understanding design. If you are creative and you're trying to create things and you want your customers to not question you. I haven't had a, a customer question a, one of my designs in I don't know how long <laughs> uh, because I've learned over the years to design. I've learned how to read my customer base and know exactly what it is that they want. I've learned to be able to be able to customize. I don't have to put like I'm at a point now in my customs business. I don't have to list everything that I've done just from the years of putting things like out there. And like every time they come to the fact that if I wanted to, I could give them something different. They're going to go and they're just going to say, Shakia, here are the pictures. I just actually, I literally just had someone do that to me, like by, like while I was online. They sent me pictures and I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? She says, I need a blanket and a tumbler. And she, she sent me pictures and she sent me the baby's birth stats. I need, a, I need a tumbler and I need a blanket. That's it. Not something that, you know, I'm necessarily like advertising or whatever, but because they know that I design, I can put anything together. It don't matter what it's on. I'm going to call Shakia. I'm going to hit her up because I know she's going to be able to do it. That's where money, that, that's where the big bucks come in, where your customers are completely confident in what you're doing. They know that you're going to, they're going to get a great product. They know that they're going to get a great design. So they don't question you. A lot of the times you get the questions because like, they may not want to tell you to your face. Well, them last designs you posted, I mean, they was all right, but... I mean, that ain't what I'm looking for. That's not my style. Those lot, you know, well, dang, I saw somebody else post that same one. And you guys can use the same image, but how do you put your spin on it? But if you're going, you're just dealing with the trends and you're just doing everything everybody else does. All right, I mean, what really sets you apart from anyone else? Not saying that you can't use those same designs. Case in point, my girl Katrina. And, you know, Everyone had, like, you know, we're doing the, the coach purses and all this stuff and the Michael Kors and this and the third. She took that, the, that, that one, that coach design, and then she had, like, the, the round the way girl Betty Boops, and then she put that on there, and she was putting other images on it. So she didn't do just, um, just the plain purse. She ended up putting other images. Someone likes coach. We know that this isn't a real coach bag, but maybe they want their loved one. Maybe they want the coach background, but they want you to have like picture frames on there. They're going to put all their grandkids on this bag. Can you do that? Can you deliver that? That a lot of times that's what your customers are wanting. They want something to set them apart. Yes, this is cute. I like this, but what else can you add? Can you add my name on it? Can you add pictures on it? Can you add a border to it? Can you add, you know, um, can I want to have my coach bag, but I want it to be because my sister loves coach bags, but she's no longer with me. So I want this. I want the coach bag. It's her favorite one, but I also want her picture on it. That way I can go and I can have my moments of prayer and talking to my sister. And I, I just got my cup there, have my little moment where I always got to go to the gravesite. You know, things like that. Like it's, you will be surprised. It's little things like that that really sets you apart. And that's where the big books come in at. All right. Um, so let's see, when does the class start? So the seven day challenges, the first set of them starts um, July 16th to the 23rd. So it's from Saturday to Saturday. Um, and then there's like a day gap. So for one of them, uh, I think the event one's on the Wednesday but we're off on that Thursday and then SVG is not on that Thursday on that Wednesday. It's like a, so it's like a date in like the a Wednesday and the Thursday where with between the both of them, there was no class for one or the other, but it runs from Saturday to Saturday, the 16th to the 23rd. Um, but after that, if you're not able to, you'll still be able to um, purchase the playbacks of it and just watch it um, and do it self paced But if you want to be able to be live and ask questions and stuff like that, um, it will be live the 16th to the 23rd, the dates and times, not all of them. The event one has more evening sessions because I kind of squeeze them in there. But the SVG one is one that is um, a midday class for the most part um, throughout the week. So it's on the website, all the information, click on the description, look at the dates and times on it, shop.hsinc365.com. The direct link to our website is in the description of this video but shop.hsinc365.com. I will put it um, on the screen as well. I'm trying to find my banners.
There we go. Actually, I'll let it scroll at the bottom so that I can look at the other comments. Um, been using this program for years and make things work, but I see there is a quicker way to do things. Yes. If you want to no longer just make it work and you want to be more efficient, take my classes. Professor, you are the bomb. God is going to bless me to be able to afford one of your class one day. I know it. Keep My classes are the most affordable. I don't even... Do you... Okay, let me tell y'all something. I got fussed out. I literally got a text message and then I end up having a call that says, Shakia, you have lost your ever-loving mind. Do you know that there are people who are charging two, $300 for seven days, 10 days, this, that, and the third? They have, hell, some people got a three-day one and they're charging 80, 90 bucks. And we already know you're going to give out so much detail. These instructors don't go into as much detail as you do. And you got the audacity to put that on there for $35. She was like, you are, and I'm not, I, I know my worth. I'm not saying that, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm only worth 35 bucks. That's not that. I do it to make it more affordable um, for those who really want to learn. So this is an opportunity to get like a little glimpse of it, get you a little taste, and it's it's an affordable price. Or it, it is changing. So that's actually the early bird price. So I told her that too. I said, that's just the early bird price um, until Saturday. After Saturday, the price will go up to like the regular price. But I keep my stuff at like very, very affordable. If you have an Epson printer, if you have submission ink, if you have submission paper, Learning how to design is just as important. It should be like, okay, well, how do I get started, right? People ask the question, how do I get, I want to do summation, how do I get started? People are going to tell them, you're going to get you a printer, you're going to get paper, you're going to get ink, you're going to get blanks. You're going to go out and spend all of that money at a very minimum, the smallest printer is going to cost you $199. $199. Then once you get all that, you're going to be in groups. How do I do this? How do I do that? Uh, can somebody show me how to do this? Can somebody show me how to remove this background? Hey, I need to do this. I need to do that. So you didn't put any emphasis on learning a program, whether it is Silhouette Studio, if it's Affinity. Everyone keeps saying, oh, you can go to YouTube. Well, duh, we all know that there's YouTube. So YouTube can't have all the answers. If you, we all know that YouTube exists. It's the second largest search um, engine Ever, like in the world, right? So we all know YouTube exists. If YouTube had all the answers, why do we have Facebook groups? Why do we go in and have to post these comments and say, well, can somebody do this for me? Because you don't know how to do it. Well, YouTube shows you how to do it, right? But we, we're going in and we're asking this because we don't put as much emphasis on the education part of it. We don't put as much value on understanding how to work the equipment that you just purchased. You just saw other people doing it. And it's like, okay, yeah, I want that too. Well, dang, now what do I do? How do I work this? I see people even ask questions down to how do I adjust the temperature on my heat press? Wait, what? So we cannot um, um, devalue just getting proper education. When we're wanting to do this, you guys should be budgeting out for proper education as well. I have some of the most affordable classes. These challenges are 35 bucks right now. You have until Saturday to get it for 35, um, 35.63. Essential Silhouette Studio is only 85.63, 83.65, one of those, 80 some dollars. And you get 40 hours. You're never gonna be able to find someone's gonna give you that much content. You might get like an ebook, 20 bucks here, but the amount of content that's in there, you'll never find it. But we can figure out ways to get the machine, get the blanks, but we want a penny pinch on the education. Or you can go to YouTube, not saying that you can't, but if you don't know what to search, if you don't have all the answers, you can't like, you know, you're missing something, you can't get support, then what? So consider that, make sure that you guys are making education and learning these things. And the most important part of anything that you make with these heat presses, unless you're going to buy completely ready-made files every single time, one of the most important things is knowing how to create the designs, how to create the templates, how to resize the templates. All right. So, um, how long will the sessions be? Um, an hour of instruction with 30 minutes of Q and A. 
So an hour and a half total. Um, do you teach how to make the template for cone shaped tumblers also? Not in any of these classes. Um, you can go on um, my website. I have a template for the cone ones. And basically it, it gives you the outline and it tells you exactly what to put in for your um, for your warp tool. But in these classes, it won't go over that. That's not what these are for. Um, a few days ago, I got an email from a job I did in 2018 and want water bottle labels and thank you gifts for two upcoming events. Didn't give much direction though, besides color. Ugh. Yeah. And then see, for me, I help you think outside the box. Whenever I teach my, you can't, there's not one person that's taken any one of my classes I mean, even when I'm doing, like, hello, look at, when I was doing designbundles.net, when I when I was doing those reviews, I would go in there and I would say, you can use, like, you see this, but no, you can use this for this, 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 and this. Like, the, the ish that's in this crazy brain of mine is, like, ridiculous. Like, I, everyone always says, Ashia, how do you come up with this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> but I try to help you guys think outside the box. HS Inc, um, HS information, uh, some, wait, some think for knowledge, do you, wait, huh? No, HS information, um, HS Inc, HS Inc. I probably have to think on, I think I know what you're trying to say, but it's not connecting for me. If you're going to invest in products, invest in yourself and get the tools to use the products, exactly. Do you have a ring pop bag template? You can really, you can easily make it yourself. Really, I don't, I don't have, do I have, actually, you know what? No, I don't. You know what I did when it came to the ring pops? Hold on. I just had that sucker. I did not do the regular bag. Dang it. I just had that. Oh man, where'd it go? Zani Mani probably came in here and took it because he's been wanting that ring pop for the longest. Dang it. Where'd it go? I have to come back and show you what I did for my ring pop because I don't see it. And Zani Mani, and I just saw that thing too. Oh, here they are. You don't have to do what everybody else does. My clients absolutely loved it. Bam. And you can put whatever you want. And then what's in here is a ring pop. But you can easily make a ring pop one. But I like to think outside the box. So it's not always a full on just wrapping it up. You can create other stuff as well. Oh, words of, uh, words of information and knowledge. So yeah, someone said that. Someone said last night for your information, and so I actually have that when I when I sent out um, when I sent out the email about the courses coming up, I put information. Uh, let's see, thirty five dollars covers one week. Yep, one week. It's a seven day challenge, and that's it. Um, are the subjects taught in the seven day challenge covered in the Essential Silhouette Studio? I might have missed you addressing that. No, it's not. So uh, the Silhouette, the Essential Silhouette Studio breaks down the tools. You know, this is how, this is where you go and you get a full understanding of what is it that subtract does? What does it mean to make something a compound path or um, release compound path? Or what's the difference in subtract and crop? Um, how do I use my image effects? How do I use the replicate tool? Um, well, what does the, or well, should I say, essentials teaches you what the tools do, um, how to trace, how to use your, 
of edit points. Now, how do you bring all that together to create designs? Um, it's going to be nothing. I'm not teaching Silhouette Studio Essentials. So when we go into it and we're talking about designing, all right, we're going to go to our circle tool and we're going to make these circles. You're going to resize them to da 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 da. We're going to go like kind of like how I did here. I'm going to explain about putting together designs, understanding um, why you have to like when we like let's say we do something and I want to have an outline, but then I want to have also like the big one. I want to cut it away. What do you have to do? In which like what's the order of operation with creating this? So it's not breaking down subtract so i'm just going to go and let's say we have to do something are we going to do this we're going to put um an offset on it you're going to click on that offset and this part you're going to subtract and then you're going to do like another offset like if i explain it that way so it won't be questions of okay well why do we subtract um um how can i say it like like we're, we're getting into like the nitty-gritty of designing and understanding design concepts not I'm not teaching you the basics of Silhouette Studio. You probably will need both. And that's why I also did this too. Join it. And you will see how you can't take for granted knowing what the tools do. So, okay, let me go over to the website real quick. So there's two different ones. They both run at the same time, but they're different time frames, right? So the SVG one, we click on read more. Gosh, got to learn to read too. You know, we got to actually read. So it goes from the 16th to the 23rd. Um, and we're going to create like different vector files that technically can be used as a logo. Like we're going to have, we have a day where we're going to go over like simple, basic logos and understanding that. So just kind of talking about logos a little bit. So logos, it can be used for church. It can be used for stickers, for summation, how to create repeat patterns, um, how to create these. So when you're doing laser engraving, you want it to be a vector file. You have to have a path. So those are vector files. So it can be used for this. We're going to create a couple of different designs over the course of really... I mean, I guess you said like really like five days because we have like some information, like the intro. We have some informational stuff. Um, we're going to break. I'm going to have a day where I'm going to break down concepts and then we're going to get into like creating different things over that time frame. All right. So the dates. Oh, well. I guess I can put it on here, but when you sign up, the email has it, but it is um, the uh, shoot. SVG is 12 noon. Um, that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I think it's 12 noon every day, except for the last Saturday. It's actually at 11 AM because that's the day where we'll probably have more Q and A and I have the event one that's like right after that. So I pushed it up an hour to give you guys a little bit more time to ask questions, but all the other ones are at 12 noon. I'm gonna go over here, hold on, let me make sure. But I believe that they're 12 noon. Um, show all occurrences, yes. Everything is at 12. There is no class on the 20th because that's the break day. That also gives you time to like process everything that we did the first couple of days and get ready for like the nitty gritty, like, you know, really, really get into it. And then the 23rd is at 11 a.m. So the 16th, the 23rd, all the live sessions are at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So basically lunchtime. And then you have the event one. Now, because like the SVG one, I mean, it's one where, you know, you can still kind of, we can get all that done in a little, a little lunchtime live. The event one does have some evening sessions. Um, so for the event one, same time frame, it runs from the 16th through the 23rd. And on the 16th, it's at 3 p.m. So the 16th and the 17th, so that Saturday and that Sunday, it's at 3 p.m. The 18th, the 19th, it's at 6.35. The 20th, it's at 12 noon because I already have a class at 6 p.m. There's no class on the 21st. The 22nd 
it's at 635. And then on the 23rd, it's at three. But once you sign up, you'll see all of the dates and times and stuff like that. But I'll add it to, I don't know, I thought I had it because I thought I just copied it. I thought I had the time frames on here, but it's not. But yes, it's a week of going through different types of designs um, and how to make them work, how to learning how to create your own templates, like by measuring them. Oh, that's supposed to be a three. I guess I hit shift. So it says hashtag D, but it's supposed to be 3D, like understanding the concepts of these and how to set them up. This is more of a design type type deal. Um, we will put certain things together. We're not doing the 3D layered one, like completely doing that one. We're going to do basically just a 2D, 2D one. I'm going to teach you about doing the 3D um, one and knowing how to do your offsets and how to like really visualize it. But we would like, it would literally take up the entire Saturday to be able to put together a 3D one because you're going to have to have your foam dots for this. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to tell you all the stuff you need for it, but we're not going to physically make the 3D one but I'm going to show you about like designing it. Um, but there are going to be some things. Of course, we're not going to print out banners. Um, if you want to print out the invitation that we're going to design and stuff like that, we're going to go through a bunch of different design concepts. So this is about really learning how to put these tools together. This is also going to help you think outside the box as far as designing and what it truly means to design. Um, and then... So like at the top, we'll put together like a chip bag and I'll show you guys how to do that. Like on the assembly day, um, just a 2D topper, the 2D topper, like for a small like cake topper, not cake, cupcake topper. And then the designer bag cutouts, we will have that one as like, we'll do that one. As long as you have a cameo and you can do a print and cut. I'm not waiting on you if you have a cricket to be able to take it from Silhouette. Um, I'll show you, but I'm not waiting for that. I'll have like a little video and I'll show really quickly how you can do it. And if you want to, on that day where it's the break, you can work that out yourself to have your stuff printed out, cut out, and ready to assemble. But I won't be waiting for Cricut users. I'm letting y'all know that now, okay? <laughs> um, but we're not going to like assemble everything that's on here, but I am gonna go through just so you guys can have a little bit. This is only seven days, it's only $35. I can't give y'all a full on class with assembling all this stuff for 30, if you sign up now for 35 bucks. I'm trying to give y'all a little early bird, you know, get paid tomorrow. You know, maybe you get paid tomorrow. Set aside a little $35. You don't have to take both. You take one, whichever one's going to be most important. You're still going to get this, like learning about designs. We're not creating like full on. Um, in this one, it will be a lot more of taking images. Uh, there will be a list of things you will need. I'm not providing certain images in this, not for 35 bucks. <laughs> Um, you guys, I will have a list and there are certain websites that you're going to have to go to, to purchase certain files and you will purchase those and make sure that you have them if you want to follow along, or if you don't want to purchase my exact files that I'm going to be like images for different things, you can use whatever image you want and make it work with whatever image you have. But seven days, it's going to be a crash course, really intense and understanding design concepts, understanding layouts, understanding composition and how to create your own templates. You know, um, someone may not have the specific candy box or um, like item that you want to use. You know, people are wanting all kinds of stuff. I saw someone do a cereal box. Um, maybe it's like the, the ones that's in the, like more like the bowl. You want to be able to put a custom topper on there. People may not have that. Well, how do you create your own? I'm going to show you how to create your own templates for things where you're not always dependent on other people's templates. All of my classes always come with replays. Every last one of my classes, you have unlimited lifetime access to the playbacks. Um, this challenge is really for people who have a basic knowledge of the program already. Will the classes be recorded? Of course. Uh, sorry if you answered this question, but I'm driving and trying to listen. Um, ideally, um, yes. I mean, if you don't have a, a, like a knowledge, that's where essentials. Essentials to the studio, you can't, like, you could have, like, never, ever, ever, ever touched Silhouette Studio, ever. 
if you listen, you're going to hear where people will say, and like, or like I read out the comments, they're like, oh, um, at by, by the time we get to the end, if you're really listening, like maybe the first time, maybe just listen through like the audio of it, right? And they'll say, man, when you first started, I thought I was never going to get this. I was so lost. And you might end up being lost. If you feel like you're lost on the first couple of days, it's not meant for you to like watch it and master it. It's, that's not what the course is meant for. That's not what Essentials is meant for. For you to watch it and feel like, and I don't want you to feel like, you know, you're missing something or you're inadequate. I don't want to use the, the D word, like, you know, but I don't want you to feel like, er, duh, like you can't get it because it's not meant for you to watch it and completely understand it. Is it something that I didn't just go and watch something one time. I had a bunch of F-ups and, you know, taking notes on those F-ups and going back into it and retrying it. That is how I mastered, not just watching a video one time and getting frustrated because I can't figure it out. This is what you guys are getting is years and years and years. So I'm not saying that it's going to be the, the supernova of like courses and you're going to mysteriously and magically just know how to do everything in 30 days because it didn't take me 30 days. I learned the program and then over years, I learned about designing. So my design skills has been developing over the years. I didn't show the whole video. I looked at stuff. I'm like, girl, what the hell was you thinking when you put this together? It will develop. It will evolve. It, your, your skills will elevate as long as you keep nurturing it and you keep practicing it. Essentials is made. You've never touched so studio before. You will be able to go in there and then follow along because I go step by step and I break down and I explain this does this, this does this. All right, I'm going to show it to you now. Let's go and we try. If you kind of mess up, you miss some things, you can write that down. I have a whole note guide. You can write down what day it is, what class it is. You can write down the timestamp. What's the question that you have? What is it that you didn't get? You can go and post that in my group and ask the question so I can clarify it for you. You can leave it as a comment on the video and then maybe revisit that after you get the answer and maybe move on to the next. But by the time you go through all of those and everything is, nothing is connected, right? Well, I'm not saying nothing, but a lot of this stuff isn't necessarily connected. You can focus on just learning how to trace. You can focus on just learning edit points. You can focus on just the subtract part. And the, the joy of essentials is there's also like times where you have no choice but to use other um, tools. Because I'll be like in the class, I'm like, okay, we haven't gotten to this yet, but I have to do this in order to do X, Y, and Z. So then they're able to see, ah, I knew I do need to know, like pay attention to learn these tools because they work together. There were so many times where I was like, okay, y'all, we haven't gotten this yet. We gonna do this on such a day, but I have to show this. And then by me doing that, by the time they got to that, we got to that day where I fully broke that down. It's like, ah, that makes completely sense, complete sense now, and it made it a lot easier. I'm telling you, like, I, the way that I did essentials, I don't think it's ever been done that way before. And I know it's like not by me. I haven't seen anyone teach that type of way. And the feedback I get from it is always like. Like, whoa, I really feel like a graphic designer now. Like you, it's so, so, so much that program that you don't even know is there and know that you can do certain things in it. So you can, anyone can take this, right? I am going to break it down. You'll, you'll maybe get some ideas for designing. Maybe you're stuck. Maybe it can help you with that. If you feel like you have creative block, even if you're not able to fully, fully follow along when I'm doing it, it's definitely going to help your creative block. Um, but as far as the pace of it, it is best. A lot of people said they didn't need essentials. Oh, I know Silhouette Studio. I know how to do this. I've been using it for years. Let's put that to the test. That's why it's called a challenge. You're going to challenge yourself and challenge the knowledge that you think that you have um, and ch challenge the knowledge that you gain. You may take it and may realize, oh, whoa. You can do a lot more. Let me take a step back. Let maybe I didn't, maybe I'm not as great as I thought I was. Let me go get this essentials and sit my behind and slow my behind down a little bit and look at this essentials and figure out where I'm where am I where am I a little inadequate at? And I need to learn to like work on those skills. Um and the recordings are literally available the same day. As you don't have to 
waiting a week for them, two weeks for them, a couple of days, you literally have access to the recording immediately. If you were late to class and you got there at, uh, if it starts at 12, you got there at 12, 30, 12, 45, whatever, by the time the class is finished, you can literally click on the link and go back and watch the playback of it. And it's available Im immediately. I have a free version right now, but I'm going to purchase the business edition by next week. You can do a lot in the free version. I mean, it's only like little, like little things that do, that helps over time. But with learning it, you don't need the business. You don't need designer if you don't want to get that right away. Now, you will see me do little things that are better for me. But I always show this is the way that I prefer to do it. And it makes it easier. But you can do it this way. And that might help. I had a lot of people that say, you know what? Uh-uh. Especially when it comes. Let me tell y'all. Y'all can't stand the center of rotation. But when I show you what it does. And the benefits of it, they were like, oh, yeah, I got to go get designer edition. I need that center of rotation. That made that so much easier. I'm telling you, it's amazing. All of my classes are always via Zoom. That's what I use as far as the live portion of it is Zoom. I always use Zoom. I know you don't do bling, LOL, but will you touch on rhinestone feature? And oh, course uh in not in not in the seven day training no in the seven day challenges no but there is a whole day hold on um there is a whole day and when i touch on rhinestones we're not just doing okay let's just click on it and fit wait where's that there is a whole day for rhinestones Bam. Day 23, rhinestones. Let me see if I can find the file that we made. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Let me find the file that we made during the rhinestone session. Oh, because I show you how to go from little stones to big stones, uh, thick areas. Oh, baby, that rhinestone, that rhinestone class. I can probably get a good, I, I'd probably sell that one by itself for $80, $100, because we go, we go in on that rhinestone class. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it real quick and show y'all what we did during the rhinestone session. Um, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where, oh, where, oh, where is the rhinestone glass? Where, oh, where, oh, where? No, for real, where's my rhinestone? That's not the one that I want. I mean, we did that one, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Where are my rhinestones? Oh, here it is. Bam. All right. I mean, you can also do a sezzle. We have sezzle on the site. So for 35 bucks, if you break that up, you can definitely use sezzle as well on the site. If you get it now before it goes up. So you get it at 35, do it with sezzle. You break that $35 up into four payments. So we do offer sezzle on the website. All right. Bam. So I showed them like to be able to take this and um, like so the top part and then you can have the smaller stones and then the thicker stones and then smaller and then thicker and like all that well that's the one that's still so it went from yeah that's bigger and smaller like this word and then or you can do it like that that's still small and then the larger stones small and larger stones this is what they like all as one and how to make it where you can get the line the line art there there it is that's the one that's finished where it has the thicker stones oh baby my rhinestone class is everything honey that rhinestone day was everything everything and and everything i can literally package that up and sell that by itself for a good little amount of money All 
All right. So but let me get off of here, y'all, because I got work to do. Um, okay. All right, Miss Cheryl, go ahead and post it in the group. But definitely visit the website, guys. You don't want to miss um, these seven days. And then it's going to be other ones as well. That's another reason why I kind of keep it affordable because you may want to join every challenge every week. Uh, the next one that's coming up is supposed, I may end up having to change some things around because we're waiting for some stuff to come in. Um, I will let you guys know that the next one that's coming up is the t-shirt one. That one won't be 35 because we have to ship you out some things. Um, a lot of people always ask, well, what's the difference between DTF and EcoSolv and sublimation or regular vinyl or uh, principal, whatever? So what we're doing for the T-shirt, when I'm waiting for the rest of my transfers to come in, you're going to get a screen print transfer, a DTF transfer, an EcoSolvent transfer. You're going to get a Jet Pro 3G. You're going to get um, like heat transfer vinyl, like all the different ways that you can make a shirt. Other than like embroidery, of course, not DTG and stuff like that and not rhinestones, um, but like just like all the flat stuff so that you can actually feel the difference and pull on it. And you can really see what is the difference between these different methods and which one, you know, would you maybe want to invest more time and money in? Maybe one doesn't work um, one over the other. Um, and really seeing side by side, everyone's saying all the, you know, if it's all the rage to get the ego solvent, but is it really any different than the Jet Pro 3G or subbing to um, glow in the dark? So you're going to get um, all of those and you can either get it with a random size t-shirt or you can just kind of get your own t-shirt so you can kind of go and put them on there. It's going to be this, you know, it's not going to like a design that you can pick. Everyone's going to get the same exact design and you'll be able to see and feel the difference between the different materials. So um, that one is one where you have to uh, pay for the box to be able to receive that as well. And we're going to go through like designing, like understanding how to design for these different types of um, medias and the benefits and the pros and the cons of it. So the t-shirt challenge, it's a seven day challenge, but it's almost like a course. It's a little bit more intense. Like it's really, really understanding all the different ways to make a t-shirt and you know, all that kind of good jazz. So that's supposed to be the next one, but I'm worried that the Screen print transfers won't be here in time for us to like separate all of them and make sure that the boxes are ready to be sent out. So I might end up pushing the t-shirt one to um, like August to make sure that everything is in and we have all the boxes curated. Do I have an app? No, I don't. Only the website. All right. All right, y'all, I am out of here. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. Um, again, don't forget to visit the website, shop.hsinc365.com. Although the classes are great, don't forget we also have the best summation paper. If you are sick and tired of burning up in your craft space, in your workspace at 400 degrees and then taking forever for 60 seconds, definitely try out our paper. We do have sample packs available. So if you don't want to commit to a full pack and also guys, I saw some people say, Oh yeah, I got the HS paper. It's still sitting here. I haven't opened it. If you don't crack open that paper and use it, um, you're going to be mad. You're going to be mad at yourself. When you finally do crack it open, you're going to be mad at yourself when you see the results and the difference in it. Um, but so you can go on here and get a sample pack of the fast dry and or tacky or both, but you're able to print at on plain paper setting, get amazing frigid colors and not have to use premium mat and get pizza, we like the little pinwheels and stuff like that. Um, 365 degrees, 30 seconds for like, if you have like a, a really decent heat press, um, on average, most people 370, 375, 40, 45 seconds. But like, if you got a really good one, even with the easy press, cause you kind of apply your own pressure with that one. And that has a really good, like the heating element on is good. On my easy press, Cricut and Bavor, I can press things um, like to metal keychains, to MDF sublimation blanks. I can press that, still 365, 30 seconds, and it fully, fully transfers. So um, while you're going on the site, I appreciate y'all for signing up for these challenges, but don't forget that we have some of the best products, again, the most affordable prices. Um, 
we have like they're all are like sale prices and stuff like that. So we have like the most affordable prices on our ink and paper. Our ink is 140 milliliters. So don't sleep on the HS Ink products. Everything I put, everything I touch is incredible from the products to the classes. Okay. So don't forget to check out our products as well. All right, guys. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.